Ex-Newcastle manager Allard is sympathetic towards Bruce's axe awaits. Former Newcastle boss Sam Allardis has given his thoughts on Steve Bruce's situation at the club. The ex-Manchester United player took charge of his 1,000th game as a manager, but it does not look like he will get many more at St. James Park. Already battling an unhappy fanbase, Bruce had already been clinging to his job prior to the takeover over the international break. Saudi Arabia's public investment fund have taken over, making Newcastle the richest club in the world through Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. And Bruce looks like he could be the first departure as they the new owners bring in their own preferred coach. Several have already been linked, including Steven Gerrard, Brendan Rodgers, Wayne Rooney, Eddie Howe and Frank Lampard. But while the bookmakers float odds, Alardis has expressed a degree of sympathy for his eventual successor on Tyneside. Alardis told Talksport, you want the clarity, but if they are not willing to give it to you, you have to carry on doing your job as a professional at the football club. You have to carry on the day-to-day -day stuff you would do normally. Obviously, that's massively difficult, because if the players think you are going to go shortly then they are not going to go out and give 100% for you. They are going to sit there and wait to see the next manager, which is not what a player should do, but understandable the effect on the group it might have in thinking that. Alardis was not given anywhere near enough patience at Newcastle compared to Bruce and lasted just 24 games, winning 8 and losing 10. Bruce, on the other hand, took charge of his 97th match as Magby's boss on Sunday when they lost 3-2 to Tottenham. During that time, he has won 28 matches with a win percentage of 28.9 compared to 